Hello students, I hope you watched the video of the reading of the text and in this video I will be explaining to you the text as well along with the reading. The Jumping Hat Let's read. Karan and Rohit were very good friends. First of all dear students, please remember the names. They may be confusing as we move on with the story. Karan and Rohit who were very good friends. It was summer vacation and Karan had come to Rohit's house to spend a day. Till here you should know the scene of the story. This house that you can see over here is the house of Rohit and who had come to Rohit's house was Karan. And why he did so? To spend a day. That means both of them wanted to spend the day with each other simply because it was summer vacation. They wanted to enjoy themselves. Both were busy with their favorite storybooks. Rohit's kitten Pussy was sitting on the floor near the door. Many of you will be aware of the fact that whenever we talk about a cat in a loving way, we always call them a pussy cat. Now in this story, Rohan also had a cat and he would not call it pussy cat but the name of the cat itself was pussy. Rohan's kitten pussy was sitting on the floor near the door. Students, you should remember the positions very well. These two were on the sofa as you can see over here, busy with their own storybooks. And the cat was sitting on the floor near the door. At this moment we can't see where the cat is but we have to remember this position near the door. Suddenly Karan and Rohit heard a strange noise. Strange means ajeeb o garib. Suddenly both of them heard this sound. They both turned to see what it was. They saw a hat lying near the door. The meaning of lying is that it was fallen or it was near the door. As you can see a hat is visible over here. As I shift my cursor you can see the hat lying over here. You can see a brown hat lying near the door. That means the door is towards the down portion. And with that we also know that the cat was also sitting near the hat. Rohit bent to pick it up. But as he bent down, the hat jumped up a little. The meaning of bent is Jhuka. And please remember who did it. It was Rohit. And let me revise once again. This house belongs to Rohit. So he himself bent to pick it up. It means the hat. But as he bent down, the hat jumped a little. We all know that this is impossible because a hat is a non-living thing. It cannot jump on its own. Help! he cried. Now in this audio the word out is not there but still let us assume that it is saying help! he cried out. Now over here cried does not mean Roya or Rona. Whenever we say he cried loudly or he cried out it means in Hindi how we say Cheekna to scream very loudly. Now obviously Rohan suddenly saw a hat that jumped up a little. That's why he got scared and he screamed out loudly help. What's the matter? asked Karan. It's alive. It's alive, said Rohit. What's the matter means what is the problem? What is going on wrong over here? And you must have heard how Rohit speaks this sentence. It's a a a alive. In Hindi we call this as haklana. In English it is known as stammering. Now when we do such a thing, especially when we are scared, when we are nervous, so Rohit could not even speak properly. 
so in that condition when he was scared he was speaking these things who is alive the ha 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 hat what don't be silly but, but it is it just jumped students over here you should note one thing we do not have the names of who said which sentence who is alive obviously this question was asked by karan because karan was most probably sitting on the sofa and he asked this question because rohan had gone to see the hat he went to pick it up and he got to know that the hat could jump so when he said that it is alive zinda hai in hindi we call it karan was asking rohan who is alive and then this sentence is said by rohan the hat that means the hat is alive and then karan says what now this is not a question please note we have an exclamation mark over here this is in hindi how we say kya don't be silly and then rohan says but it is it is means it is alive it just jumped karan got up to see for himself now karan was not ready to believe that a hat could be alive that's why he got up to see for himself which means that he himself wanted to see that the hat is really alive or not the hat suddenly began to move towards him karan screamed and ran for the sofa rohit too jumped onto the sofa right after him yer most probably the hat may have stopped a little at some position and karan got up to see for himself and when he went to see the hat the hat suddenly began to move towards him him means towards karan and he screamed and you know the meaning of screamed means chillaya and ran for the sofa because they got down from the sofa so immediately he wanted to go and jump on the sofa and most of you children also know that if you are scared of something you immediately want to go and jump on a higher position especially it could be a chair it could be a sofa it could be a table in the same way rohit too jumped on the sofa right after him first karan jumped onto the sofa and after that rohit also jumped the hat now crawls to the middle of the room the meaning of crawled is you must have seen how babies walk on the floor they use both their hands and legs and they don't walk like how we walk on two legs they crawl in the same way the hat also crawled to the middle of the room why middle of the room because it was first near the door it started heading towards the two boys heading towards means going towards oh no help karan and rohit cried together both of them already jumped onto the sofa but they were still scared because the hat was in that position first it jumped then it started crawling and then it started moving towards both of them and both of them cried together oh no help they jumped off the sofa and dashed out of the room when they reached the kitchen they slammed the door behind them now in this particular scene i want you to imagine that you are in place of karan and rohit the same thing would have happened to you obviously they jumped off the sofa because that hat had already reached even close to the sofa and they may have thought that the hat may jump and also come onto the sofa so what they did was they got down of the sofa and dashed out of the room 
डैश्ड आउट मीन्स रैन एज फास्ट एज दे गुड और यू कैन ऑल्सो से रैन वेरी क्विकली वेन दे रीच्ड द किचन सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम यर दैट दे वर सिटिंग इन द ड्रॉइंग रूम समटाइम्स वी ऑल्सो कॉल दिस रूम एज हॉल दे वर सिटिंग इन द ड्रॉइंग रूम वेन दे रीच द किचन दे स्लैम्ड द डोर बिहाइंड दैम स्लैम्ड इन हिंदी मीन्स जोर से बंद किया क्लोज इट वेरी हार्ड एंड दिस हैपन्स स्पेशली वेन वी आर स्कैड और वेन वी आर इन अ हरी वी जस्ट बैंग द डोर वॉट्स द मैटर विद दैट हैट वाई इज इट जम्पिंग अराउंड लाइक दैट ट्राइड रोहित नो सिंस इट वॉज रोहित साउस ही वॉज ऑल्सो कन्फ्यूज अबाउट वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग सो ही आस्ट करन What's the matter with that hat? What is wrong with that hat? Why is it jumping? Maybe someone's pulling it along with a string, suggested Karan. Suggested means he just gave his idea or he just told Rohit that he is thinking that it could be something like that that a string is tied to the hat and somebody is trying to pull the hat. Let's go and find out. I'll take this stick. If the hat starts creeping towards us again, I'll hit it hard. Over here Karan says, "Let's go and find out." Both of them were already scared, but still they wanted to find out why the hat was moving and jumping. So he said that he'll take this stick if the hat starts creeping. you can see the meaning of creeping over here moving quietly and slowly you can take the example of thieves or robbers when they go to steal something you might have watched in tvs that even when they walk they try to keep their footwear as close to the ground as possible why because they do not want people to hear the sound of their footsteps also so they move quietly and slowly and over here karan says if the hat starts creeping that means it starts moving quietly and slowly towards them he would hit it hard that means he would beat the hat with the stick i'll take this broom said rohit both of them took one one thing each Karan took a stick and Rohit took a broom. Thus armed, they opened the door slowly and peeked. Over here, the meaning of the word "armed" means having a weapon with them. Now, weapon in Hindi means hathiar. You may think what hathiar was there over here. They did not have a gun. They did not have a knife. But since they are children, and they were scared of something. they armed themselves they carried weapons now what were their weapons for karan it was a stick and for rohit it was a broom and this happens with us also mostly if we see some insects we also arm ourselves for example if you see a cockroach even you would want to take a broom and run after it to hit it hard thus armed they opened the door slowly and peeped in hindi peeped means jhakna trying to open the door and quietly trying to see inside the room the hat just lay there on the floor just lay there means it was not moving at all but when both of them were in the drawing room or both of them were in the hall the hat was moving towards them and jumping as well watch me scare it said karan so karan was little brave at this moment watch me scare it that means he told rohit that tum dekho main kaise is hat ko darata hu he began whacking his stick against the leg of the table whacking means beating hard
Hey you, he said. Let's throw potatoes at it, said Rohit. From here you can understand one thing, that Karan was a little braver than Rohit. Rohit was a bit scared, and he wanted to stay away from the hat. And you can also see that Karan was supposed to take a stick and beat the hat with the stick. That means Karan would be going close to the hat, but Rohit wanted to be a little away. So what he said, let's throw potatoes at it. Throwing means you will do it from a distance, so you do not have to go close to that. They went back into the kitchen for potatoes and began to throw them at the hat. Now both of them again went into the kitchen. took some potatoes and began throwing them at the hat finally rohit managed to hit it why they have given the word finally over here because first of all they were children and they were scared and another reason is that they were at a distance and you all know that it is not easy to aim in hindi we say nishana lagana they were throwing potatoes from a distance finally akhir ka rohit managed to hit it that means one potato hit the hat the hat jumped high in the air and howled meow howled means in hindi also it is known as chingadna and i'll explain to you what it is you must have watched in horror movies there are wolves who kind of scream or kind of cry in the night time in the same way the hat jumped high in the air that means this time it jumped higher than it used to jump before and it howled that means it kind of screamed or it kind of said something in a loud voice meow and by now most of you have already realized meow means the cat itself may be under the hat look said rohit there's a bit of a great tail sticking out from under the brim of the hat i'll give you an example what this exactly means look said rohit rohit suddenly realized that he could see a bit of that means a small portion or a small piece of a grey tail tail obviously means that it is an animal sticking out from under the brim of the hat now i need to explain to you sticking out take for example a handkerchief you are putting a handkerchief into your pocket in a hurry and then somebody tells you that a small portion of the handkerchief can be seen from your pocket so that is known as sticking out from under the brim of the hat now you can see the borders or the edges of the hat i hope you can see this part just watch my cursor this part is known as the brim of the hat why this is known as brim because this is something that is on the outside what covers the head is this portion this is known as the brim and rohit could see a tail you can see over here also a small portion of the tail is sticking out pussy must be under the hat shouted karan karan immediately realized that under the hat is none other than the cat itself karan grabbed the hat and out came pussy he hugged the kitten poor pussy karan grabbed the hat you can see the meaning held something quickly in hindi it is known as chinna because karan realized that pussy was under the hat he immediately grabbed the hat and out came pussy that means he also took care that he would not hold the 
cat as well. He just grabbed the hat, lifted the hat, and the cat came out of it. He hugged the kitten. You know the meaning of kitten is a small cat. Hugged means gale lagaya, and he said, "Poor pussy, bechari." This does not mean garib. Whenever we use this word with any other person's name, it means bechara. How did you ever get under the hat? He wondered. Wondered means he thought. I know. Remember that strange noise we heard? That must have been the hat falling off the hook and on top of pussy. Is that what happened, pussy? Asked Rohit. Over here, Karan was a little bit confused how the cat got under the hat, or how did the hat come over the cat? So over here, Rohan says, "I know. Remember that strange noise we heard. This is about the noise that they had heard in the beginning of this story. Both of them turned to look around, but they could not see anything." and that is when they saw that a hat is moving so rohan says that must have been the hat falling off that means falling from the hook and you know that hook is a place where we can hang our clothes people also use it for hanging their hats and on top of pussy that means the cat was already near the door and the hat was hanging on a hook which was placed on the door itself and so rohan asks is that what happened pussy now most of you who are animal lovers will obviously know that we also like to speak to animals obviously they understand our language but they cannot talk like we talk in the same way rohan also liked his animal his pet and so he asked the cat is that what happened he wanted to confirm whether this thing only had happened with the cat but pussy said nothing she just purred obviously since it is a cat it is not able to speak pussy said nothing she just purred now those of you who have cats or who know well about cats you will know that when they are happy they make a particular kind of sound that is known as purr you can see the meaning made a continuous quiet low sound So students that's it for this video in the next video that I'll be sending to you I'll be explaining to you the exercises of this chapter thank you students